Hey guys, Tanner 69046 here, and I'm back with another episode of Tornado Survival Season 7, Episode 4. In the last episode, we made progress in this world, and then we kind of reversed progress because we got hit by a tornado. Um, the first thing that's going to pop into your mind is, Tanner, why are you in creative mode right now? <sighs> Gasp, I know. Um, I accidentally loaded this world in 1.11.2, and it glitched everything or not everything but the chunk that I'm pretty sure don't hold me to this there could be more wrong but the chunk that I was in was reloaded into something else so I'm not cheating or anything I'm just go that's a shame I lost all the stuff in that chest um I can I can recover that pretty easily um ooh okay that's interesting why that was turned off, I have no idea. That'll fix itself in a second. Um, so essentially, it reloaded this chunk, and I'm just going to try and repair it to the best of my ability. And yeah, I'm not going to cheat or anything. If you don't believe me, well, that's too bad. Get over it. I don't cheat. I never have, never will. So yeah, um, that's why I'm in creative mode, is to correct this little issue that we have here all right let's just do this and then i'm going to you know go back out of creative mode once i have fixed this um you also notice that the village is not repaired that's because i didn't live stream like i said i was going to Ooh, whoops we already had a torch that's okay uh get rid of this and then i'm pretty sure it's andesite and ooh, andesite that's what it was, I think. I'm pretty sure it was just like this. It's interesting. Ooh. Interesting. Um, sorry about that. I'm just making sure the village isn't going to just die on me real quick here. And then I think that's good like that. Um, of course this got destroyed. I think my weather radar got picked up. Uh, I'm pretty sure all of this is like this, so... Uh, we'll go back into... Go back into survival now for you guys. Oh wait, no, I need to do the chest, don't I? Um, I'm gonna do that off camera. Because I don't know what was in them. So yeah, um, I'll restore the chest and then I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so fortunately, in the video, I had the thing open and another thing is this was only two blocks and then oh wait this is supposed to be like cobble right sure we'll just oh gosh I'm messing everything up here and we can do this sure okay and then the sand aside here. Okay, um, I, luckily in the video I opened the chest so I can see it had 12. You all can fact check me on this if you want, but I can assure you it is right. 12 there, it had one piece of sand. Oh uh, yeah, boring restoration. And a site. Let's see, 38 of that. It's really not a big deal, but I just wanted to make things right. Um, cobblestone wall. Alrighty guys, so that's the state that the chest was in when we left it. Ah, uh, it's good to have this restored. This is not as it was, but we'll get over it, I guess, because... I'm sorry I did the best I could. I'm sorry I loaded the game into the wrong version. It's okay though. We'll live. You'll get over it. It's fine. It well, didn't cheat. And with that, we can get on with the rest of the episode. It's your daily dose of mess up. So yeah, let's um, uh, let's clean this place up and build the farm. So apparently, this grass in the form of that gets picked up by tornadoes. Which is going to be really annoying for trying to keep um, uh, this village in tip-top shape, I guess. 
because that means that every time it gets hit by something, we have to essentially replace all the dirt. So I had to collect dirt, which is not fun. And then I have to replace it like this, wait for the grass to grow back, and then, uh, you know, come back with the shovel and right-click on it. Because I can't. That's me right-clicking right there. I can't. I can't do it. So that's it's a very difficult process, I guess, to try and fix all this. But it's whatever, you know. This is tornado survival. We get over it. Ooh. So I got all the grass, or not, I got all the dirt placed back in the village, but the next step's just as bad as the other one, and that's just going to be um, uh, replacing the oak in the houses. So, you know, the houses had stuff picked up off of them, too. And that means that we have to replace that, which is very unfortunate. But luckily, there's this giant oak tree here. And usually people complain about these, but I like them. They, they produce a lot of oak, you know? You got so much out of one sapling, and yet people, all they do is complain. Oh, there's too much wood, too much wood. Yeah, we'll handle it, okay? It's not that hard. You just chop. So now, from that one tree, I got 42 logs, which should be enough to help me repair the entire village. So, to all you haters of that tree, you should know that they are actually great. And you should always chop them down if you see them. Plus, they're really ugly in the world, so if you chop them down, you're doing the world a favor. <laughs> so, yeah, keep that in mind. Ooh, did we miss a dirt? We did. Ooh. Got him. Dang it. <laughs> oh, those are probably dirt holes. Yeah, just ignore them. Alright, let's get the building. I should not have... Dang it. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, we need more dirt, don't we? Ah, we'll get it later. Alright. You were like this. This village is going to look better than when we started. We will rebuild. How is this missing cobble? Did it really suck up the cobble out of this thing? Because that's just ridiculous. Ah, uh, who needs windows when you have solid walls? <laughs> Ooh, close this gate. Alright, it is close. Uh, you were missing that. Pretty sure that was supposed to be open, but eh, who cares? Oh, how did I miss that? Yeah, look at this. I, uh, I don't, it might have just been a loading glitch, but still. Uh, the path went this way, right? Yes, it did. Are you good? No, you're not. Somebody put a back door in. Uh, boom. We'll have to sleep soon, too. Ah, oh, man. Rebuilding. A sense of help in a community. Yeah, I gotta love it. Let's see. Giving people homes. Villagers are people. We consider them as that. Even though no one lives in that house, it's on the outside of the place. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Other than getting some more dirt and waiting for it to regrow, of course, we have rebuilt our village. Yay! Our farms also took a hit from this disastrous... Why is this a carrot? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, our farms also took a hit from this disastrous... Disaster. <laughs> so, we have to... Man... We have to replant and replace all of this. Do we have potatoes? Yes, we do. Which is also a very fun, fun little project to have to do. Why is that only missing wheat? I don't understand. Uh, ooh. And also get to continue flattening the grass out to consider it as infrastructural roads, which is always fun. <laughs> what is this? You need to stop. Well, isn't this weird? Okay, so look at the clouds moving overhead, but yet that's moving clockwise. Yeah, that's a little weird there, Chorus. You might want to reconsider that. Just saying. Yeah, we should really look into that, though. We also have to recraft all of our stupid recipes because they got wiped out. But, yeah, um, I think we are almost ready to move on to... Well, I wouldn't say exciting stuff, but move on to farms.
with animals in them, not just the crop farms, you know. Why did I do that? <laughs> nope, we need it to grow to the middle. In fact, on most of these, we're going to need that to happen. So, like, here. You're asking why I'm doing this. It's because the grass has to grow there. And because it's not surrounded by grass, the grass can't grow to it. See? See? It's harder than you think. Ooh, this really took a hit. So, yeah, I'm, uh... I'm going to continue to do some more chores and then I'll cut back in with some progress. Be right back. So we've unfortunately drained our gold supply so much that we don't have enough gold to um uh, to make the last weather item, um, which is kind of shocking, <laughs> you know? Uh, I guess I'll have to do some off-camera mining to get me that gold which is really sucky I guess I, I kinda wish we had more gold now oh well I guess more grinding uh, I was able to make these I'll really need one piece of gold though to finish that but it's whatever you know all in the day's work alrighty guys so I am um, uh, went upstairs prepared got some wood coal iron made some torches a new pick went through one you know I was getting ready to do this very long mining expedition to try and get some gold and sure enough I just went right down here and found some gold <laughs> oh that how lucky that is I don't even care if it's only one no it's more that's so nice to have happen so now we can craft the final piece to our um to our thing which is fantastic let me just place this last torch here for efficiency three two See if you place it at two, and then you can. That's the um, uh, most efficient way to place torches. If you didn't know, nine, eight, right there. Aha! And then just snag all these resources, and we can craft all of our required weather mod items, which is very good. Very good. We'll have to see. Here it is, guys. The last weather item needed to craft. Uh oh, let's sleep first. Don't want our village to get raided. Which can happen, by the way. That's in the game. It's rare, but it can happen. So, uh, let's see. What is it, like this? Something? That's what it is, a wind vane. Ha 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 ha! Woo! We have everything recrafted, guys. I've never been more proud of myself. Um, we're not gonna go place it outside yet, just because we don't have a church to place it on. So we're just gonna put that there. Does this now? Okay, that works perfectly fine. Don't ask how it's going to pick up the wind inside of a building because this is a video game and you shouldn't be so nosy. There aren't. Okay, I was like, there aren't zombies there, are there? No, okay. Alright, so this repair segment I'm going to officially call done and we can move on to actual progress. Yay! We're just going to snag these fences here. We don't have to repair everything, you know? <laughs> um, uh... <laughs> We can, we can borrow, right? That's cool. Oh, he's not even focused on me, so I can snag these fences even easier. Thank you, dude. Oh, he turned. Man, he had full health. I figured he would have burned some. All right, uh, we're gonna snag these fences, and we're gonna start building our farm, livestock farm. That is. All right, so when we left off. We had this placed here. Ooh, and then we were going to do a gate there, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Well, that's not going to work. This needs to be... Now this needs to be extended down one. And then we'll extend this whole thing down by one. Hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to make it so we can have an odd number for a single open gate here so one two three one over oh, crap I even messed that up this will have one two three four one two three son of a biscuit it was right the other way that's okay we can fix it <laughs> we'll just make this a little shorter I think <laughs> I honestly do not know <laughs> one two three one, two, three, four. Wow. 
Okay, so that actually needs to be extended out by two. This is why I should have just done this off camera. I didn't even need to mine that block. That's okay. So this will be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ta-da! There we go. Now we have an outline placed. Um, some of you may vaguely remember this design, and that's because I've used it before, but the majority of you will not remember this design. So, there you go. Uh, it's like this. It's basically... Stupid water. Um, it's, it basically just holds four different animal types in it. So, you know, it's pretty cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just make sure before we place this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Aha, sweet. Um, I don't know which animal types we'll put in it yet. I mean, cows and sheep will obviously be one. Maybe chickens. I haven't really decided yet. Uh, we should receive dirt into our inventory. Is this a storm over there? Ooh, it is. I caught that out of the corner of my eye. There was rotation there. Um, interesting. Hopefully you all can't hear that plane flying over. Or that had flown over. Um, I don't know why, but planes fly over my house here. I don't even live near an airport. It's just I'm, we're so unlucky to be under their flight path. This will fix it. Hopefully none of you will have nightmares because of the way I left that. <laughs> uh, much better. I think. Why am I caring so much about the shape of this? <laughs> I am destroying this pond and its natural beauty. Move over for agriculturalization or whatever you want to call it. I call it science. <laughs> Ah, look how beautiful that pond is now. With this random blotches of sand and whatnot. Okay, so now we need... Ooh, we don't have a crafting bench. We need a gate. Actually, multiple gates. Five gates. No, why did I do that? Look at this. I just... Ah. Now we gotta let that grow out. Good job, me. Uh, gates. Gates, gates, gates. Watergate, deflate gate, multiple gates out there. Let me guess. Oh man, we're gonna need more sticks. There we go. Ta da! Now we have our five gates. Yay! Nice game. That is exactly, yeah, you read my mind, game. That is exactly what I wanted to happen. Oh, it's raining outside. I can hear cars on the road. Uh, like this. And there we go. We have our fenced, okay. There we go. We have our fenced off areas. Oh, we need fences up there. But this is basically how it works. Um, let's get some torches placed. Keep it lit up. And now all we need is the livestock in it. And, you know, to exploit them for emeralds to essentially get all the enchantments that we need and diamond materials that we need. But, you know, yeah, yeah, get the animals in there. That's, that's the main goal, of course. All right, there we go. Now for us to go and find animals. So while we collect our animals, ooh, that makes my job easier. Don't have to get chickens. Um, while we collect animals for our live captive pen thing, we are going to have a little discussion, because why not? Um, hello. Uh, we really need sheep. Why is it so hard to find sheep? Um, we're going to have a discussion. So, um, wow. Can we continue to say, um, that is a great way to start a discussion right there. Wow, I almost said it again. What I wanted to talk about <laughs> was I have many times, three now, <laughs> tried to do a series on my channel called 
Tornado Wars. That series has had varying degrees of failure to it. Uh, sometimes it failed harder than others. For example, Season 3 actually had some action before it failed until one of our members had some season-ending injuries, unfortunately. Uh, season 2, I didn't even get like an episode out. Season 1 also had some action, but it was kind of sad because... Okay, this is some garbage right here. Hey, hey you, follow me. It also had some action, but because it was our first season... People weren't very good at it, I guess. So me and Nate and Chaz were kind of kicking butt compared to Cookie and Fire and all of them. So even if Fire hadn't tried to steal my series and whatnot, it probably wouldn't have led to much action just due to the fact that it was a really sucky start. <laughs> they didn't have much going on in terms of warfare. They built a house. And season two, I, I didn't have a single episode. That That was just some garbage right there. That was my fault, too. I, I will take the blame for that one. But either way, I was just wondering what your guys' opinion would be on doing another season. Now, 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 don't shut me down immediately, or or maybe you're on the other side. Maybe you're like, well, heck yeah, I want you to do another season. Let's consider the pros and cons. Pros, I've failed three times now. I've obviously learned from each time, so maybe this time will go well. I mean... The third time, it had some fighting with the Vlans mod. It was actually pretty great. We raided a base. Uh, some people would consider it successful, you know? Um, a pro for me is it's consistently gotten views for the most part. Season 1 had an insane amount of views on it. Um, I don't know how Season 2 would have been done because, you know, obvious reasons. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's been a successful series when I upload it. There's that part to it. What is this? Oh, it's a tree. I was confused. Where's my cross? Crossing area. Oh, here's my bridge down here. Um, at the same time, that could be a con. You didn't even get an episode out one season. Heck, you. <laughs> you've done it three times and failed three times now why would you try to do it again that could be a con I don't know it's it's your viewpoint um, some find it an exciting series some say the grind takes too long and you lose interest quickly I don't know it's it's got its pros and cons that's why I wanted you guys' opinion on the matter to see if I if you think I should continue it or not so I'm going to be introducing a poll to this video, which you can do on YouTube. It'll be in the upper right-hand corner. And the poll is basically going to be asking, Should I do Tornado Wars 4? Who should I do it with? Well, that poll won't ask that. Should I do Tornado Wars 4? Um, if I did it with someone, it'd probably be with Purple. I don't know if I'd want to do it with Cookie or Shoot. They're not very good at it, just being honest. They don't, they don't care enough about this game. Or care enough about winning, that is, to actually try that hard. So, I don't know if I would bring them back. Hey, maybe I should do um, the antagonist. A season full of antagonists. Let's just have Harpoon or Garfield, Fire Resistance, have all of them come back for a good old happy time. That's, that's who knows. I mean, <laughs> that's not going to happen, by the way. <laughs> There's plenty of opportunities out there. We really need another cow. You there. You're coming with me. But yeah, I just wanted your guys' thoughts on the matter. Uh, and I'll let you know mine after the poll. I'm getting your thoughts first. So while looking for cows, I found pumpkins, which are some of the rarest things in the game. I was able to find pumpkins before I could find cows. I'm already extremely far away from the village. So even if I do find cows, I have a very, 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 very long walk back. Which is always fun, you know? It's, it's cool, it's cool. So in my quest for cows, I found an acacia village. 
Yep. What's your enchantment? Frostwalker. Oh my gosh. Let's go ahead and take a screenshot of this place. Really don't want to. But I guess I'm going to sleep here too. Ooh, they do have a library. Sharpness 3. Are you kidding me? Dude, these guys are the greatest. Uh, this will save me some time right here. All of this stuff. I have one. Well, I really need to sleep. This is going to be a long episode. I haven't been in here yet. Dang it. Hold on. Now, hurry up and sleep. Let's go ahead and click these books, too. <laughs> Uh, we're not thieves, we're just, we like books, you know. Sharpness 4 for 22 levels. Oh my gosh. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. I was trying to circle back around in my search for cows. But I have failed to do that on an insane level. <laughs> I did find pigs. So there you go. Ooh, and a desert temple. Let's go see what's inside. Oh, that was close. And that's not good. I was low-key panicking there. I was scared that he was going to activate the pressure plate. Ooh, gold. I'll take that. I'll take all of this, actually, if I can. Uh, let's get rid of some garbage, why don't we? There's literally sandstone all over this desert, so I think we'll be fine in getting rid of it. Ooh, they increased these things, I tell you. Uh, sure, why not? Hey, do you think we'll get diamonds for the first time? Stay tuned. <laughs> This is in the longest episode. Oh, no diamonds. Alright. That seems successful enough to me. Whoops. Oh, the TNT. Of course. Come on. Did I get it all? Yeah, I did. Okay. Goodbye, free desert temple. And hello cows and pigs I found. So I'm going to transport them and I'm going to end off the episode because it's getting very long. Oh, I almost died. Okay, guys, I can see the village. I have three cows and I picked up three sheep along the way somehow. Whew, just got to make it just a little farther. Come on, guys. I think I've just had the most rage quit worthy thing to happen in this game so I was trying to get the cows into the cage here yeah you following me you following me and a creeper followed me in here cuz that gate was open and when the creeper followed me in here he blew up right here and killed every single cow I had gathered up to here yep Oh yeah, I'm a cow tipper, all right. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go cry now. But it's okay. Not really. Well, we, you know, every you got. It. I don't know. We'll continue progress later on. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. I hate this game.